Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome to Traveler Tuesday. We are back this week with a look at the Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society, Volume 8. This is from Mongoose Publishing to support their new version of Traveler. Not really new, but current version of Traveler, Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition. So we've already taken a look at Volume 7. If you didn't check out that video, please do check it out. I may actually remember to put a thing in the thing uh, so you can go do that. We'll, we'll see if we remember to when this thing goes live. Um, but but this was a Kickstarter. They did a Kickstarter for uh, volumes or uh, issues, if you will, 7 through 12. It made its goals, and we, we have all 12 now. Um, there was a previous Kickstarter a couple of years ago for issues 1 through 6. We have already done a video flip-through of the physical books there, so check those out if you are interested. Uh, but now we're looking issue by issue because the, then the videos are easier to digest, right, rather than taking an hour and a half to look through six things. And these are big. These books are big. So let's hop over to Volume 8 and take a look. Okay, so we see right away, uh, credits, Classic Traveler by Matt, uh, Mark Miller, uh, editors, Matthew Sprenge, and Isabella Treccani Cinelli. Uh, cover art, doesn't actually tell me who did the cover art, but the cover art on these is pretty nice. Um, you can pre-order these uh, and get the physical volumes when they come out and get the PDFs now from Mongoose Publishing's website. I leave it up to you to uh, go do that if you want. Like Volume 7, uh, it has a an above average for Mongoose Traveler uh, table of contents, which is great. The uh, Generally speaking, the tables of contents in Mongoose Traveler stuff are not good. This is not a huge complaint, but, you know, there it is. Uh, it is one of the things that I, I would rather see them improve. So let's take a look. And there's a whole bunch of different kinds of material, just like the classic Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society from Game Designers Workshop. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Uh, first thing we have is Charted Space. This is in the Outrim Void, which, I, as I recall, is in the Spinward Marches. Um, and this is looks like Kaldos, Lost Oasis. So this is a planet in the Outrim Void. And we get a bunch of history. Looks like this is in the Trojan Reach, actually. Um, a lot of history. Uh, we get a map of the planet, which is cool. And I, without checking, I assume that this is uh, a, a planet that we didn't get details of in the Trojan Reaches sector book, which is part of the Pirates of Drenax set. Even if you... I mean, I think Pirates of Drenax is one of the three best campaigns ever released for role-playing games. So I recommend it highly, but you, that's the only way to get the book. But you can go back and get the... Uh, previous Trojan Reach book for Mongoose Traveler First Edition, and it's completely compatible as far as that goes. Uh, so we get a lot of uh, information on Kaldos here. We get two different maps, which is interesting. Um, uh, <coughs> we have a High Guard article by C. Urs Wolfat, Sojourner Light Trader. Looks like a 200 ton. Does that sound right? Uh, new ship. This is a TL-12. No, it is a 100-ton ship. That's why it's a light trader, which uh, you can see the form factor looks a lot like the classic Scout Courier, but it's, uh, you know, it's it's a little bit different with a blunt nose and uh, maybe slightly different lines. Um, and again, TL-12, it has a uh, 25 tons of cargo space, so that's pretty light trader. Uh, this is probably a very good PC ship to hand to them and also to hand them a mortgage on it, of course. Uh, Central Supply, the Gauss Rifle's big brother, the Mag Cannon. Heavy weapons, 25 to 30 millimeter human portable mass drivers. Um, so these these look... Ooh, yeah, okay. So these are uh, handheld weapons, uh, but they're small mass drivers. They kind of sound like Gauss Rifles, actually. Uh, they are TL-12. Uh, we have an Encounters article, Corpora Vishnu Zarka by C. Urs Wolfat, or Wiltot. Be, feel free to correct me on any of the pronunciations here. Here's the guy. Okay. So these are interest. The encounters are typically interesting characters that you may encounter. Uh, the patron encounters, on the other hand, are kind of like mini adventure building components. Um, we have another patron encounter here of this fella who we'll, we will call Ed. Uh, uh, the article's by Gear Laniscog, whose name I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, call me Ed. Yes, that is exactly how you handle um, ridiculous, randomly generated traveler names. Um, oh, and he's a Varger. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. And there is actually a pronunciation guide here if you want to uh, do that instead of calling him Ed. 
Uh, but there's a whole bunch of detail, like the previous uh, Patron Encounter articles by Gear Laniscog. Uh, this was very well developed. Here's a bestiary by Isabella Tracani Cinelli. Um, this is found on Kandaria in Frykor Skander. I have not sure where that is, but uh, this is a alien critter, which there is a picture of. They look kind of like rather scary vampire bats, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, traveling, the hunter career. This is new. I didn't necessarily expect to see a new career here. Uh, the hunter career is for travelers who delve into the wilder environments of charted space. They can be found hunting or interacting with the many animal species and plants that exist within our galaxy. Now, I kind of feel like there's some crossover here with the dilettante, but that's okay. Um, the assignments are game hunter, wilderness guide, and ecologist. With that context, I can absolutely see a place for this career. I mean... You can always have more careers, right? Uh, now, there's a couple that they've done that I in the Travel Companion that I think there's a little less need for, uh, but certainly you could uh, you could leverage this too if you wanted to. And it looks fully fleshed out with events and mishaps and skills and all that jazz, so that's pretty cool. And uh, there's a new benefit: a safari ship. Um, this is. I'd really rather see them leverage the ship shares mechanic rather than saying certain careers just are handed a, a specific kind of ship. Um, I would greatly prefer that. I'd rather see ship shares as the benefit. But, I, you know, I can leverage that too, right? I can say, hey, this, this benefit, which is probably hard to get. Yeah, it's a seven on a... Uh, the mustering out benefits, and you can normally get one ship share. So I would say this is call that one d six ship shares or something like that. That's fine. Same thing if you get like a lab ship in the researcher or academic or whatever that profession is called, scholar, I believe. Uh, profession hunting skill. That's uh, uh, a, a something you can certainly use. Uh, charted space Noricum violera. Uh, this is a plant found in the oceans and marshlands of Noricum in the Trojan Reach. So I, I mentioned this in the last video. The Trojan Reach is so well developed at this point that I think it's just as well developed as the Spanward Marches. Um, and and the vast majority of that development has come at the hands of Mongoose Publishing. Uh, and a lot of it is to support the Trojan, the, the Pirates of Drenax campaign, which happens in the Trojan Reach. But, you know, a lot of it can be leveraged regardless of what you're playing. Ah, this is in a, a return of a classic adventure by Lawrence Schick and John Harshman. I'd be curious to know uh, who did the conversion, if it's one of those, those uh, traveler veterans. This was one of the original double adventures. Uh, if, so I'm going to buzz through this uh, to, not, uh, uh, to not spoil it. But there's a, a whole big adventure in here. Uh, and it does look pretty big with a big map and whatever this thing is. It's been a while since I've read this scenario, so. Uh, okay, Central Supply. Here's an alien critter, too. I do feel, and I'm going to probably say this more than once throughout the course of these videos, that there really is a need for a Traveler, Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition Master Index so that you can find all the critters and all the gear and all the planets and all this other stuff. Um, nobody has undertaken that substantial task yet. So, Central Supply by Veselin Metev, Omicron the Mythical Weaponsmith. It looks like a mercenary weaponsmith uh, working at TL 91011. So that's interesting. Okay, so basically more guns. Uh, High Guard, talking about turrets. So here is an article about turrets for spacecraft. Uh, a new bestiary article, The Inchere, uh, by Isabelle Tracani Cinelli. Uh, these are plague the skies of high gravity planets. Colossal animals that plague the skies of high gravity planets. So they're really tall. Rather than looks like they're fly, looks like they're flying, but they're high gravity flyers. So that's interesting. Be interested to read this article to see how that's justified. Uh, high guard, the pink diamond, which is a modified regular yacht, and looks like we have. So this is a specific ship that you say, oh, there's a three vessels docked here, and here's the pink diamond. Here is one of them. Um, so here's the crew of the pink diamond. This is actually pretty cool, including this dude with a bionic, uh, bionic arm. Um, uh, a, quite a lot of crew at that. Here's a, looks like an android character. 
the, the and everything's pink because it's the pink diamond. Okay, so pink would be the motif here, I guess. Here's the BB2 nuclear powered bus. Uh, TL9, frugal accommodation for passengers, provides relatively cheap and fast transport over distances limited only by the endurance of those it carries. So what kind of, is this uh, like a nuclear, as in fission powered? That's interesting. It's an interesting item. Not sure I'd use it, but, you know, you, there's always, you can always use stats for a bus, I suppose. Uh, alien, contact Halkins, a human minor race native to Halka in the Trojan Reach. Much like their more illustrious neighbors on Floria, five parsecs away, they come from human stock transported from Terra by the ancients in about 300,000 years ago. Um, these guys were just dumped on the planet, unlike the Florians who got genetically engineered. So this would be interesting, too. These, uh, they're really, um, I think, another need for a book on human minor races. Um, there's a ton of them. So, and those are basically all the human species that were distributed by the ancients, other than the Volani, the Solomani, and the Jodani. Um, GURPS Traveler did a book on human minor races, uh, and I think uh, there's a need for a, an expanded and updated version of that. Here is an adventure by David Sansom, Care Package. I don't recognize it as a classic traveler adventure. So let's buzz through this too to avoid spoilers. Here's a ship, the modified system defense boat. The bestiary, the giant scuttlefish, found deep in the atmosphere of gas giants. I guess what that means is not necessarily that this giant scuttlefish is just found in all the gas giants, but that if you have a gas giant atmosphere encounter, it may include the giant scuttlefish. So it just doesn't tell you where, uh, what the planet is, uh, which is fine, right? Uh, and we're at the end, actually, already. So this is 129, 130 pages. So it's a substantial book. There's a lot here. Can't wait to get the print versions of this. Uh, so looks like this has been a look at Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society, Volume 8 from Mongoose Publishing for Mongoose Traveler's Second Edition. Looks like another solid issue. Very happy to add this to my already extensive Traveler library. Um, go ahead and check it out at Mongoose Publishing's website if you like. And thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do help support the channel. And I'd like to give a special shout out to the patrons of Ardwolf's Lair, without whom this and other types of content would not be possible. Please do tune in for the Monday streams and for our new show, Classless Characters, which is an RPG show every other Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, and until next time, happy traveling. <laughs> <laughs>